To clean up air pollution and to reduce greenhouse gases in California, air quality agencies work closely together to develop regulations and other programs to reduce emissions from mobile, stationary, and area sources. These agencies often use what is called a regulatory or rulemaking process to ensure that these regulations or rules meet state requirements for open public participation. The California Air Resources Board, or CARB, is responsible for developing and enforcing air quality regulations for a range of statewide pollution sources including vehicles, fuels, and consumer products, and for regulating greenhouse gas emissions from all sources. The California Legislature has given CARB the authority to develop regulations to reduce emissions by implementing control strategies and to set emission standards, which are the maximum amount of pollutants that can be released into the air. CARB adopts emission standards to limit criteria air pollutant, toxic air contaminant, and greenhouse gas emissions. These standards are based on the latest scientific research and technology available. As part of the rulemaking process, CARB is required to be transparent in explaining proposed regulations and environmental impacts, and to create meaningful opportunities for the public to participate in the regulatory process. Early in the process, CARB often hosts workshops to share information on initial ideas. Anyone interested in the regulatory effort is encouraged to sign up to receive email alerts on documents posted, meeting dates, and board hearings. After the initial planning takes place, CARB prepares draft documents, including regulatory text and a staff report that explains the proposed regulation. All proposed regulations are initially open for public comment for 45 days. CARB program staff presents their proposed action to the board and the public at a board meeting. After the presentation, the board hears public comments, asks questions, and considers the staff's proposal. The board may send staff back to draft additional changes to the regulation before they approve it. After regulations are approved, CARB may use executive orders to ensure that new vehicles and engines sold in California comply with requirements. In California, existing vehicles are also required to perform smog checks to ensure the vehicle continues to meet emission standards after years of operations. CARB also adopts regulations for stationary, non-mobile sources to reduce greenhouse gas and toxic air contaminants. The agency adopts these following the same process as its mobile source regulations. Air districts adopt regulations and other procedures to control criteria air pollutants and toxic air contaminants, but not greenhouse gases, from local stationary sources such as factories, power plants, and dry cleaners. Air districts follow a regulatory process like CARBs when adopting rules. State and federal law requires air districts that have poor air quality to adopt more stringent air pollution rules than areas with better air quality. Air districts use permits to ensure that stationary sources comply with requirements. These air permits outline conditions for operation and set emissions limits. Controlling air emissions from various sources in California involves many steps. Having an open and public transparent process for enacting regulations to improve air quality is the goal of the State of California, the California Air Resources Board, and the state's 35 local air districts.